As you all are aware, Northern Kenya is very dry. It's sort of pastoralist, livestock, uh, wildlife uh, economy. And uh, um, 10 years ago, we started the process of uh, pursuing uh, soil, uh, grassland, carbon. It was such a long journey uh, to get the methodology right with our partners in the US and to get also the verification uh, right. 14 community conservancies in the north uh, came together um, and teamed up together uh, to pursue uh, the soil uh, grassland carbon, which has come to be uh, the largest world soil carbon uh, in the world. Greenhouse gases that is already in the air is what we are removing to store it in, in the soil. The soil conditions are improving. The soil is able to hold more water and it's able to, uh, to withstand uh, erosion when we have these uh, floods within the landscape. This means the soil's capacity to be able to stock, to remove carbon from the atmosphere and store is enhanced. It was built around um, grazing management and rangeland restoration and management and so looking at the dry season uh, grazing, the wet season grazing of the pastoralist uh, communities, and really just looking at the livestock movement, you know, patterns over the years. In 2020, uh, these 14 community conservancies were able uh, to sell 3.2 million tons of uh, uh, soil grass carbon um, that generated uh, about 14.6 million US dollars, which is just slightly above 1.5 billion Kenya shillings. Na samuka na iwe pesa niya yawa yangumpo kwa kisamburu. Eh, sisi na samu pesa ya yawa. Kwa tu kama sisi kimazai carbon sisi tu na ita tu na ita gijepe. Iyo tisi tu na samu pesa ya mbaya ya ya gijepe. So this year we were lucky because we are one of the projects uh, that received the carbon money. Uh, which was at 6 million. With the money that was allocated to the carbon, we have done a borehole, drilling a borehole, equipping a borehole, doing a six kilometer uh, piping uh, to bring water to the lodge and even security headquarters where our rangers stay. And uh, today you can see that we have provided water for wildlife, water for uh, domestic use, and water for the lodge. Since carbon money had been kept to renovate the lodge here. We have now a bigger number of people. We are even for November, we have booked more than 15%. From tomorrow, 12 guests are coming and we are fully booked up to the end of the month for the first time. Before, we used to call November a low, a low season. We have generated almost 6 point something million shillings just for a period between January to now. So meaning, if it goes this way, we are going up. Next year, we are targeting to raise up to 10 million for the community here. On a good year, a community can make up to 15 to 20 million. My hope going forward is that uh, uh, this project will um, support or help uh, to create stability, uh, bring these communities together and reduce uh, the traditional historical conflict that uh, we have always witnessed when it comes to uh, water, uh, pasture and because right now they are dialogue, you know, they meet, they come together, all 14 of them, every February uh, to do the annual uh, general meeting and agree uh, on their plans. Mm -hmm.